School is supposed to be a safe space, but it doesn't feel that way these days. Just ask Miami senior high student Max Pauly and his mom. Well, I just heard that online there was someone threatening schools that basically don't come to school or you're going to die. My heart started racing and I went and got him. And it turns out with good reason. A 15-year-old male student was arrested for threatening to kill everyone at Miami Senior High School while warning not to go to school if you don't want to die on December 6th. I got kind of scared. The Miami-Dade Public Schools also announced the arrest of another student from a different school, this time a 16-year-old female, both now charged with felony counts for making threats. So my message to students across our community and to anyone is do not engage in this foolish type of activity. But some ignoring the message with more than a dozen threats, mostly on social media, investigated in just the last week by the Miami-Dade Schools Police Department. Cause enough to pause, says clinical psychologist Dara DeLeon. If you are noticing behaviors from your kids that are concerning, whether they are spending an enormous amount of time on social media, expressing irritability, aggression, maybe changes in their sleeping patterns, in their diet, um, their involvement in isolation, you definitely want to reach out for help. Help that came too late at a Michigan high school last week where four students were gunned down by a classmate. Unfortunately, we've seen this before in the aftermath of shootings across America. There are copycat uh, threats against schools, uh, which, uh, quite frankly, is quite unacceptable. The pandemic could be playing a part in the inordinate number of threats as kids spend increasing amounts of time on social media, Dr. DeLeon tells us, stressing that communication between parent and child is key. If you're concerned if your kid is experiencing anxiety, you want to ask them if they're having difficulty sleeping. If they are experiencing more anxiety, explain to them what anxiety is and how it might show up for your child. And Miami-Dade Public Schools added to Dr. DeLeon's suggestion, saying in a statement, we urge parents to speak to their children about how reckless actions could result in severe consequences, including criminal charges and a recommendation for expulsion advice that should be well heeded. Joel Wallman, CBS4 News.